So here we have a four-year-old who presents with dyspnea, harsh voice, raspy cough, along with increased effort in breathing and intercostal retractions. Which condition is most likely? Would it be A, croup, B, carbon monoxide exposure, C, epiglottitis, or D, a complete airway obstruction? So you guys know that I'm always looking for buzzwords whenever I'm taking a test, and there's a lot of them here. To start off, we have a four-year-old, so they give us an age, and they give us a lot of different adjectives here. Dyspnea, harsh voice, raspy cough, increased effort in breathing and intercostal retraction. So we know that this kid is in respiratory distress, not in respiratory failure. We know that they're moving air, so we can go ahead and completely get rid of D. D makes absolutely no sense. Now B is also not a very good answer, carbon monoxide exposure. We would see more of just shortness of breath, headache, maybe uh, some confusion, maybe a different color in skin, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and rule out B as well. And that leaves me with A and C. Now, you have to know the buzzwords between croup and epiglottitis to really hone in this answer. Whenever I'm looking at a croup question, there's certain things that I'm always looking for. Younger kids, remember six months to six years of age, if the test says anything about the winter months, if the test says tripod position, barking cough, I know they like to use seal bark cough, um, maybe low grade fever, typically under 102. These are different things that I'm looking for. A gradual onset, maybe it took a little bit of time for this kid to get sick and or for them to call 911. Now, with regards to epiglottitis, epiglottitis is more of a rapid onset, higher grade fever, greater than 102. And I'm always looking for the term drooling whenever answering an epiglottitis question. Also, the kids are typically a little bit older. It's not as common with the younger crowd. So with this one in particular, we have a four year old with a cough. Now, whenever I see coughing on an exam, you always gotta start to consider croup. I know there's a lot of buzzwords that are missing in this test question, but just between the age and the fact that this kid is coughing makes it much more likely to be a croup kid over an epiglottitis kid. Now for my AEMTs or medics, remember we can do racemic epinephrine here. Uh, for my EMTs, we are going to be considering humidified oxygen if you are able to do so. And if not, just regular blow by oxygen and transport. Again, the answer here, A, croup.